time become death, the destroyer of worlds. There is a film that was released a few days ago and has been the talk of the world. It's called Oppenheimer. This film contains extraordinary scenes from a cinematic perspective and tells the life story of Julius Robert Oppenheimer, now as the father of the atomic bomb in the world of science and technology. As this is a topic that particularly interests me, I immediately had an idea and decided to turn it into a game. Hello everyone, I am Joseph, here with a new video. In this video, we will create an atomic bomb simulation in Unity. Before we start, I would be very grateful if you support me subscribing to my channel. Also, please share your thoughts about the video in the comments. You can also support me by liking the video. During the Second World War, scientists were searching the ways for military use of nuclear fission. Many countries, including Germany, made preliminary research with the establishment of a highly secret national laboratory in Los Alamos, New Mexico in 1943. The efforts of the USA sped up. They particularly wanted to make the bomb before the Germans, as Oppenheimer was working in the US. His rival Heisenberg was continuing in Germany on the atomic bomb. Under the leadership of physicist Robert Oppenheimer, a group of scientists worked hard to build and successfully test an atomic bomb as part of the Manhattan Project. Additionally, a large portion of the US resources was allocated for this project. They tried the first atomic bomb, which was called Trinity, in an American desert. After this test, Oppenheimer realized how powerful what he found was. The first bomb dropped on Hiroshima used and reached uranium-235. The second bomb dropped on Nagasaki used plutonium, and the world changed forever. After the Second World War, during the Cold War, the nuclear race began against the Soviet Union and hydrogen bombs were found. Oppenheimer thought about limiting this power after the bombs, and so it happened. Over time, international agreements limited nuclear bombs. In this video, we will set up an atomic bomb simulation in Unity. Now. Let's do it. For our atomic bomb simulation, I first need to set up the bomb system in Unity. We need to create our bomb test with a simple ground and a few cubes with the rigid body and collider added. I have created a bomb for now and started writing the codes for the explosion we are going to make. Unity has a command called at explosion force, which has a bomb-like effect on the objects within the scene. We will have various bombs, so I assigned the bomb's impact area Area as a public variable. As you can see, our bomb drops and objects around it are flung. I want the bomb to drop when I press a certain key. So I spawn the bomb when I press the space key with some very simple codes. I need atomic bomb models for the simulation. I don't know Blender very well normally, but I designed the two low poly bombs. One of these bombs is big, the other is small. They got much better with the material settings. After importing the bombs to Unity, I added a few animation and then choose two different keys to spawn. When Q key is pressed, a small bomb drops. When W key is pressed, a large bomb drops. Since we are doing a simulation, it is important for the camera to stay cinematic. In Unity Cinemation, I created a circular orbit for the camera using the dolly track. I also added an object in the center of the scene for rotation. Then I did a bit of environment editing and we got a good view with the camera animation. Our camera turns like a satellite. When we drop the bombs, a nice explosion occurs. When atomic bombs explode, they create a blinding brightness. I plan to do a similar situation for the simulation to be realistic. I prepared this effect with the post-processing bloom effect and a few animation. An unusual brightness emerges when our bombs hit the ground. Honestly, I love this effect, but it took a long time to edit. Now, I will add a house to the game. I did a very simple modeling on Blender. After transferring to Unity, I want the bombs to tear down the house. It took quite a while to do this and in the end, I spawn the house in a shattered state right when the bomb drops. When the explosion force occurs, the houses appear shattered. There will be a lot of houses, so I tried to be more careful to make the game not lag by shattering the houses with a lot of assumption. After adding our houses, the current view of the simulation
animation became a scene on the screen. It's a weave I like for now. I want a particle effect to appear when the bomb drops. For this reason, I made an effect with the HDR and noise features using the Unity Particle system. This effect emerges when the bomb hits the ground. Having a particle effect made the simulation even better. I also made various adjustments for the effects. Lastly, I arranged the houses as if they were in a city, so we can see the effects of the bombs more clearly. And now, let's take a look at the final state of the simulation. Our camera is turning, and when we drop the bombs, an explosion occurs. The first bomb is a weaker bomb compared to the other, and when we drop the powerful bomb, everything around it is shattered. I like this simulation. Well everybody, we have come to end of another video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share your comments about the video with me. See you in the next videos. Take care.